Welcome to Circle of Hearts Radio. Journey with Grandmother Alaya as she enters her magical world of relics, sacred sites, and ancient crystal skulls. Meet with exciting trailblazer authors and individuals shifting the consciousness of humanity. Send her your questions to be answered on air on her monthly segment, Ask the Oracle. And now your host, Grandmother Alaya, in the sanctuary on the airwaves on Om Times Radio. Welcome to Circle of Hearts Radio on Own Times Media. I am Alaya, your host for this hour. Today, and welcome to my sanctuary on the air. You know, this is a, a very special space for me where I'm able to bring very uh, special souls on who are trailblazing and we're opening up to so much. So I'm very grateful for those, you know, who are following us and those who are sharing with us. Today is July 5th, and in the States, we had the July 4th recognition of, uh, it was an energy of freedom, and it, it permeated the air, and so much with the new energies are going on. And originally, I had another guest schedule, but to show how uh, the universe and spirit really guides this show, the, the, uh, the elder that I had scheduled for months. He called, not called, but emailed me and said, you know, he had uh, a sudden engagement, you know, something important happened. And of course, being in my panic, you know, okay, what am I going to do? And in my brain came, popped up, was Nancy Oaks, a friend of mine. You know, she was on in March and she was talking about uh, the third gender and the divine mother energy. And uh, I emailed Nancy and she goes, I can do it. I'm going, great. And then with all this uh, energy coming in in the United States of uh, the Supreme Court, allowing, recognizing the love aspect of all life. I mean, I really hate putting labels on it, but, you know, it is it is a step. And the new energies, that's why I keep getting new energies. So I'm going to bring on Nancy to you. And she's, um, even she has grown in her work so expansively that, you know, some of the labels don't even fit her. So I'm going to put on a, a new direction for her, Advocate for Human Life and Rights. Hi, Nancy. Hi. <laughs> So what about these new energies that we're, we're being bombarded by? Oh, my goodness, yes. Um, it is amazing how the universe works, and it is way more powerful and uh, more than, uh, you know, what uh, we know. Uh, it is beyond us, and a lot of us that are caught up in this energy, uh, as I see on uh, Facebook and email and people that are calling me, they're saying, I, I just, I'm having trouble sleeping, you know, all this energy. And um, it is a, a beautiful time to be on the planet, is it not, with what happened with the, the Supreme Court decisions and so forth, what's going on right now. But we're, we're moving into a new uh, world, and when we make the shift, we will, we will witness the new energy, and it's going to be obvious uh, to all of us, and I know you're feeling it, or you not? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I, I, I was telling Nancy before. I said, you know, even when I went to call her, I said I'm getting the numbers messed up. I don't know who I called before. So whoever in the world I called before, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've been really busy, and um, it's amazing that I had this time. So it's so uh, appropriate. Uh, I've, uh, I'm working on my degree in psychology and cultural anthropology, and I have to have 3,000 hours of volunteer time. And a wonderful door opened up for me in Kerrville, Texas, and I've been working at the woman's shelter up there. And it's such a blessing for me to be there. And uh, they've also asked me to teach uh, the heart art lectures, and I will be working with transgender and gender crisis individuals at the Mental Health, uh, Health Institute there in Kerrville. So, how did you? Uh, I'm really I know we talked about this before. How did you get directed by this? Because I mean, 
this is not your aspect of your soul. I mean, you know, you have right. a loving husband, you have family, and right. you, you right. went into a total different direction. How did this happen? Yes. Um, well, you know, it kind of started, um, I took some uh, courses uh, with uh, Barbara Marks Hubbard and James O.B., and uh, for about a year, uh, and I prayed, and um, I asked the universe to show me my direction, and at this time, my children are all grown, and I wanted to serve humanity, and these gay issues, uh, the LB, uh, you know, GBTQ community kept coming up, and I, I really didn't want to go there. I didn't feel that, you know, I had enough uh, knowledge, and uh, as I studied and got further into my degree and the messages kept coming, I realized I was developing a real passion for uh, the human life uh, issues like you mentioned. And the fact that uh, these beautiful people are awakening themselves, they are healing themselves and they are reconnecting to their power. And so... I, this work I must do. I and, must do this work. Yeah, and, and and I notice, you know, it's natural. You know, we're still in a dualistic world. I mean, there, but people are changing. I was really amazed when the. I mean, I'm not getting into the politics, the spirituality of it. When the Supreme Court made that decision and made that, you know, beautiful written declaration, yes. they had there. Everybody's heart just opened. It's yeah. like, okay, let's forget the label. It doesn't matter. Just be yeah. who you are. You know, just yes, yes, and support people. Uh, we we are never going back to a time when um, religion or government authorities persecuted people for sex or gender. Correct? That is so not right. That is so not right. We need a system that supports everybody because yeah. there's so much work to do. And I think also a system that doesn't put labels. I mean, even, you know, all these, I, I try to look at the world and I see some of the violence that comes up. Yeah. And then I'm thinking, well, maybe this is a lesson. Maybe this has happened as like a, a universal contract yeah. to present itself and say, okay, here it is. You know, unless you really figure out what you're going to be doing. Or how you're going to react to things. These things are going to keep on happening. Right. And people right. seem to be opening up by their hearts and saying, it's, no, you can't burn. Right. You, you can't kill people. You can't burn churches. You can't exactly. label people. Exactly. We are evolving into a new human species. We're, we're going to be different. Those things are, are, are going to be obsolete. And we're going to read where... There was a time in our history where people acted that way and they were just not enlightened and they didn't understand and their minds were closed that we're going to be reading about this time someday. Our children are going to have a better world because they're going to be raised in love instead of the hate and the discrimination uh, and the things that have happened in the past to separate people. It separates us. You know, if you have... Uh, an institution or an association that you go to that teaches you that you're better than someone else, even if it's color, let alone sex and gender, right? It separates right. you. Is that right? Yeah, or even ethnic background. It, the, I have a thing against labels. Yeah. Because I just think like you do, the, we're past the time of labels. You know, there's so many of us talking about we are one. Yeah. And it, it really is a sense of, you know, all life is oneness. And, you know, why put, okay, well, you have this. And, then, and people get scared. Oh, well, you're taking my identity. And we're not taking your identity. Right. We're just moving into a different one of yeah. acceptance. It's hard for people to let go of that old stuff. It's like those big suitcases that we carry. You know, we're going away for three days and we take four big heavy suitcases and can barely get through the airport. For what? Right. Now, most of that stuff you don't need to take anyway, and a lot of it you'll never use. So lighten up, you know. Um, and, I, and, and I, well, as a, I, in a little bit, we're going to go into the next break, but I want to just 
go into the discussion of how the uh, the descent of the divine mother energy has affected this movement. Because yeah. um, I said, I know people say, well, unless I'm a great one to, you have to walk the walk. You have yeah. to experience these things. And a lot yeah. of us aren't, haven't experienced in this lifetime what other people go through. Yeah. But we can be bridges to connect, you know, the, the two sense of awareness, you know, be a, a bridge, exactly. you know, from, let's say, the one community exactly. to the other. Exactly. And when we come back from break, we will we'll talk about the original creation. We were balanced, masculine and feminine. We came, yeah. we were created, and we were here to, to serve together, and we got separated. Yeah, and I've, I've noticed uh, since Father's Day, I mean, even with my friend Charlie Riverman, he, he puts out, you know, this information also of the, the the balance of the male energies. Yeah. He presents it from the male point of yeah. view. Yeah, powerful, isn't it? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. I follow his vlogs and so forth. It's beautiful. Yeah, he's, he's coming into his own too, but it, it, it's a great perspective yeah. because, you know, as women, we can look at these men and say, okay, yeah. why, don't, why aren't you getting it? <laughs> yes, exactly. You hit it, you know, right <laughs> but, on the head there. But then you have Charlie's blog, and he's going, well, we got to work into that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, the women, the women, uh, the feminine, we we know we're the life givers. We know that we're of love. We know that's our, our energy. We know that's what we give. And the men have that feminine side also. They've just been a part of bullets and guns and tanks and wars and aggression for so long, their heads are messed up. Yeah. So see, we got to come back to the men that are loving and caregivers and nurturers and protect the women and the children and feed the poor. And then we begin to be balanced again. Okay. The well, best of okay. the conscious minds in the world. Om Times Radio. Your conscious lifestyle on steroids. As difficult as it is to believe, there are places in Africa where human traffickers sell albino children and their body parts for use in magic rituals. Humanity Healing International is actively working in Uganda to change this paradigm. The Albino Rescue Project finds albino children who are at risk and places them in safe schools and environments where they can learn and grow free from fear. To learn more or to sponsor a child, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Matt Connerton here. Join Jen Coffey and I twice a week for Matt Connerton Unleash, a political talk show that's a little different than what you're used to. No liberal or conservative agenda here, just an honest dialogue about truth and how things really work in the world of politics. Matt Connerton Unleash, every Tuesday and Thursday night at 11 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio. Hey, ladies, do you want to have that good hair day feeling all the time? Gentlemen, would you want your special someone to have that glow, letting you know she is feeling completely satisfied? This feeling and that glow can be yours by embracing your sexual power. So join me, Rachel Kenley, award-winning romance author, on The O-Spot. The O-Spot will guide you to that peak with guest interviews, book discussions, and conversations on the thrills of sexual empowerment. Put the zing back in your life. Come up and see me sometime on The O-Spot, live on Hump Day at 10 p.m. Eastern. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Ohm Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. Free your mind. Expand your soul. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Welcome back. I'm with Nancy Oaks. And today we're doing kind of a, a free for all conversation here. <laughs> when I was listening to the commercial, you know, about the sexual empowerment, and I'm thinking, um, 
this is all about balance, isn't it? When the divine feminine meets the divine masculine and mm-hmm. kind of comes together, exactly. you're empowered. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And that's what's been missing. That's what's been missing in our society. And uh, the reason that guns and bullets and tanks and warfare has taken over is that mankind has become unbalanced. And uh, initially and originally, we're, we're meant to love each other and take care of each other and build thriving communities. And the children are not supposed to go hungry, let alone be murdered. Uh, you know, we're, we're supposed to support our, our communities. And there's a great separation when you're out of balance. So that new energy is flooding the planet right now with all these uh, wonderful things. Uh, it, it's, it's difficult for some people to let go of those old paradigms and to embrace. But once, and you said it, once your heart is open and you get rid of all that old stuff, you're like a new person. You, you know, I have people say to me, I just didn't realize. I, di- I just didn't know that I was that hard. Uh, you know, I didn't know I was walking the planet being so mean and hateful. I thought I was doing, you know, what the church taught me. And now I feel free. And when you get that freedom, you're, you're kind of rewiring your brain to think for yourself. Does that make sense? Well, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, you see a lot of... Um Religious leaders changing. Yeah. I mean, I don't know in other countries. I, it may be since, you know, I haven't lived abroad. I don't know what it would be like um, a daily life in China, a daily yeah. life in Russia, a daily life yeah. in Greece. Yeah. You know, I think it might be harder. But yet you see people tuning into like, the own times, the media, the magazine, mm. the healing humanity. So those are the change makers. Yes. The computer is a gift of the universe. It has opened the doors for all of us to be able to see what's going on on the planet. And inter- they cannot hide their deeds. It's real time on cell phones and computers all over uh, the planet. Uh, you know, in Syria, you have someone on a cell phone and they're sending the, the images to us. That computer uh, is an amazing tool. You know, sometimes I worry, you know, that we're, we get over-computerized, you know, and the children are on it too much and so forth, and they should be out in nature. But it's a gift. Well, it's I was, a gift. When you, it, it is, but you bring up another point, the children. I've been noticing... You know, when I just look at things objectively, people are basically coming down to, again, uh, let's move the kids back into nature. The indigenous elders are saying, let the children feel the earth. Let them look at a flower and appreciate the flower instead of having their nose into technology. Let them... And the ones that are doing it are these amazing young children creating things and, you know, being musical geniuses. And Right. The indigo children and the gold children and the, all these avatars, healers, light workers, guards and, and, and guardians and starseeds and walk-ins and way showers. They're all here. Yeah. They're all here. And you see these little five-year-olds you know, my gosh, uh, the talent that they have and the knowledge that they have. You know, the one that spoke to the UN the other day was uh, 13 years old and spoke about women's rights, and she articulated very well. I was just uh, in tears listening. Uh, you know, it's it's the new energy. It's, yeah. it's all of those uh, those angels that we have with us, walking around with us, to support us in this change. They're all here. And I think people need to realize they're not separate from them. You right. know, all these people on earth, and it, it really, this isn't a, a new agey thing I'm saying. Everybody yeah. on earth is a facet of spirit. They have that connection to all the realms that we talk about. And the, the Christ within it's not a, a figurehead in a religion. It, 
is a beautiful, loving energy right. that's being e- right. expressed. There, there was a time when the goddess walked on the planet. She was here. She walked with the people, and she taught the people. Uh, there's all kinds of images and statues and, and drawings on cave walls and all of this. And, of course, because of the patriarchal uh, oppression, uh, she was eliminated from the creation story, but never gone. She's always there, the sacred, divine, f- feminine energy, uh, source, whatever you want to call her, she has returned. And you would have to be under a rock with a bag on your head not to feel the difference <laughs> in the world, right? How do you think the men are dealing with that? I mean, they are changing. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I see very creative men lately taking care of their babies. I see men uh, feeding their babies, uh, taking, d- changing their diapers. I see them at the mall. I see them at the park, lovingly at the grocery store, uh, you know, nurturing their children. Uh, my son-in-law stays at home with my granddaughter. They choose to do this. He also has a bit of a health issue right now, but he chooses to stay to take care of his daughter while my daughter works. She makes really good money, and he can stay home with and he loves it. I he think, loves it. I think the, the men, again, we get back to labels. I think they're always afraid that if they're not the warriors, if they're not the prof- you know the providers, yeah. the cavemen, you know, going out there and, you know, bringing in the food... <laughs> Yeah, well, we're changing. Uh, you know, there were as many women warriors, and women need to be warriors. I'm not saying that the goddess is a, a, a meek, subservient, uh, you know, little Victorian, uh, you know. No, she's powerful. She's powerful. And, and there's nothing more powerful than a woman protecting her children. Are you yeah. kidding me? Oh, or yeah. even in the animal world. A mama you know, bear, right? <laughs> yeah, or a cow. You want a chicken? You want to go up against, uh, you know, a mother? Uh, you don't. And that is a, a sacred power that is innate in all of us. It's it's a beautiful power that we share with men. Well, I it's think the that, yeah, balance. I was going to say the men feel that too. I've seen men. I think part of that label, which you just talked about. Men feel it in a different way, protect their family, protect yeah. their country. Um, yeah. Men are well, so... Well, sometimes, you know, they're a bit deceived about what protecting the country means. And people are uh, awakening. That awakening opens that, that uh, brain to think for themselves, and they're not so easily led into uh, wars and things uh, where in the past, you know, uh, we were deceived, and of course, the media is controlled uh, by certain authorities, and they tell us what they want us to hear. However, you do not have to go anywhere. You do not have to buy a book. You do not have to uh, sign up for a course. You do not have to go see a guru. If you ask for the message, if you ask for the energy, if you truly want the love, the balance, the feminine to return to your life, all you have to do is ask. Yeah. And it comes. And I think not to be worried about being labeled that they're, they're, not, man, they're not manning up. Yeah. I mean, the, this is a big thing. Um, we might go into the next thing, you know, next commercial about the uh, labels because this has to do with the, the third gender. Even yeah. transgender yeah. There, there's so many aspects. I mean, people that yes. you and I have met, they're saying, no, um, not everybody's Caitlyn Jenner. Not everybody's right. one way or the other. And Right. Uh, I, I've studied that for years, and um, I can tell you, and when we come back, we'll discuss this, there's millions of people that are born, both genitalia and none. They've been coming to this planet forever. Mm. Nothing new. Yeah, no, that the 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 bubble. Yeah. <laughs> well, I told you the new energy today. I, I had told Nancy before the thing. I was listening to this Violet Flame uh, music, which totally just 
shook my being up here. So <laughs> we'll go in um, as the commercial, you know, will be coming up. We will go into the new energy and even yeah, let's the, talk about that music. Yeah, what you just mentioned. <laughs> yeah, because the music. I mean, that's a whole nother. I mean, I think people are approaching or seeding information through the, this beautiful spiritual music that comes Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, Nancy, That's what it is. I got a feeling we need about three hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can come back. <laughs> well, you know, this is, you know, it's definitely going to be part of this program. Um, but quickly before the uh, break, when we talk about goddess energy, again, it's balance. We're not saying, oh, well, you know, a female rise to power in the male subver- subservient. We're not. No. We're talking about balance between you know the twin right. uh, twin souls, the twin exactly. soul aspect. Exactly. Um, how much time do we have before you go about to commercial? 30, yeah, about thirty seconds. <laughs> yeah, um, we are bound. We are born of both male female. It's yeah. there, and, and of course, like we said, there are some people that are born. Uh, with both genitalia and and none. However, that that is still not to oppress their purpose because they're born that way. That does not change their purpose. Sexuality and your purpose of life is not the same thing. It has nothing to do with what your purpose is here, what sex you are or gender. You know, yeah. that's... That's not why you're here, is to be male, female, or lesser, or categorized. Yeah. All right, we'll continue this after break. of the conscious minds in the world. Om Times Radio, your conscious lifestyle on steroids. What if business could be fun? What if business is the adventure of living? What are you choosing? Where do you do business that makes it easier, more fun, or more joyful for you? We'd love to see where you do business. Connect with us on Instagram at Joy of Business or Twitter at Joy of Business and share your pictures with hashtags Business Done Where and Joy of Business. Let's change the world with business. Eros Evolution is where sexuality and spirituality meets. Join me, clinical sexologist Martha Tara Lee, on Eros Evolution on Thursdays, 4 p.m. Eastern on Om Times Radio. Dr. Kevin here. And I want to invite you every Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, to join me on The Dr. Kevin Show, where we have a diversity of guests who help you step outside the box, behind the curtain, and see what a load of crap is going on in the world today, so you have more information with which to make better decisions. We'll see you there. Namaste. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Ohm Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. Free your mind. Expand your soul. Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Well, we're back with Nancy. And, you know, uh, during commercial, I keep so many thoughts come to mind in the communities. And, and uh, again, this new energy is, as you say, when we incarnate, you know, it, it's sort of a soul decision. We spirit into form and we create our form to experience certain things in life or maybe to even help teach 
you know, like a lot of these people are doing life. Mm -hmm. So um, they, it's a lesson. It, it's mm -hmm. not so much the procreation or what is done. Yeah. It's how they express themselves. And I know when you and I met Reverend Yolanda, who's going to be back on in September, <laughs> he had finished it. You know, he came out about being a transgender minister. Mm -hmm. And he brought mm -hmm. out the point, he goes, it's not always one or the other. He goes, sometimes he projects, you know, the masculine, sometimes he projects the feminine. But basically, he's a very balanced soul. Mm -hmm. And he bring, and he uses music as, you know, I'm bringing that yeah. in. So how we were talking before, how music seems to affect people, how it's... Yeah. Uh, awakens people. Yes, and um, Reverend Yolanda is free. He is, she is free to be whatever uh, is appropriate in her life. A very spiritual leader and teacher, and she has a great purpose at this time, and I just love the laughter. I mean, my goodness, they laugh all the time. It's yeah, just she's always smiling. Happy. Always smiling. All just free. She's uninhibited, free. And the music is very important right now. Uh, many centuries ago, the churches took uh, control of the music, the way we tune our pianos, the universal tone. Uh, you know, many centuries ago, the monks, uh, sang uh, hymns and so forth to this universal tone. Well, they got control of it, and they didn't want the people to have the power. Uh, they really didn't want the people to advance spiritually. So that's part of the control. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, because of uh, you know this information, uh, uh, musicians are now learning about that uh, those higher tones, those cosmic universal tones, and they're toning. They're tuning their pianos and instruments to that sacred uh, tone. And that's why the music is so powerful. Uh, some of this music that um, you can click on, um, sometimes people on Facebook send me something. and Or YouTube. I mean, yeah. I, I, I finally just, uh, I'm a late bloomer. <laughs> yeah. I finally discovered YouTube. Um a powerful yeah. music. Yeah, I'll sit there. Uh, my husband got me an iPad, and you know, sometimes in the evening, while he's watching something, I got the earphones on, and either I'm listening to people talk, and again, that yeah. it's even people's voices is a form yeah. of music. Yes, it's an energy. Absolutely. What they that bring energy. forth. Yes. So we can, and, you know, if you're listening to something and it makes you feel better, it's appropriate. If it makes you feel better, you know, that's appropriate for us. Rather than causing, uh, you know, music can cause you to be aggressive or it can even cause you to be slightly, you know, depressed and so forth. Yeah. So stay away from that music and listen to the music that uplifts you, takes you to a higher level. Why wouldn't we want to be up there? I mean, you know, they knew what they were doing when they took that universal tone away from us. They didn't want us to connect spiritually and, and learn about uh, reconnecting to the source and our power. So that, that music is very important, and it's another uh, indication of the shift that we, were in, we are in on this planet. Yeah, and it's... Um like you said, sometimes you randomly will come across things mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it'll just, I'll keep going back to them. Like when I, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not, you know, really pushing Reverend Yolanda, but yes. he had this song, We Are Angels. Yes, I, I love I fell that. in love with that song. And then there was, oh, a, yeah. there was another I one. This, yeah. Lee Ellis that uh, I was listening to today, the, the Violet Flame song. It yeah. just, it affects your whole being. Yes, that's when you know you're connected to the right thing. Isn't that easy 
to understand if if you're connected to the to the right thing it's not going to harden your heart it's not going to cause you to be depressed it's going to give you a new thought process which is above the old paradigms and that's what the gay people are in right now they are in a new thought process they're coming out of oppression and discrimination and finding their place again and they're learning that they are sacred and worthy and we are a part of all that watching millions of people become empowered I mean how great is that I think the the whole thing is you know someone you know wants to say well that's their orientation I'm not like that but I think the lesson is they're finally allowing themselves to be who be yeah. purely who they are and I think that's the lesson to the world who wherever yeah. you are whether you're in a little village someplace yeah. <laughs> anything yeah. just be who you are it, you don't yeah. have to say okay I belong to this type of thought form or I belong to something else be yourself. Right. Right. And and let's just help each other. Stop all the insanity about, you know, the religious dogma and, uh, you know, all of this thumping the Bible and all of this stuff that doesn't help us. You know, we've had uh, gay people on this planet forever, mm. forever. They're part of humanity. So let's just get past all the stuff that separated us and let's build thriving communities again and welcome people back into the circle of humanity. Yeah, I think if people, like, that's really important. Like you said, people don't realize this is not something that just came up. Right. This, this has been in cultures, in the Roman culture, in the Greek culture, and I'm sure. And Egyptian and Native American and everywhere. Forever. Yeah, yeah. and it, yeah. it's saying uh, right now it seems to be focused on this, but these are probably part of the spirits of other cultures, really. I don't know how to exactly present this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have come back into this life to say, okay, let's bring it all together. Yeah. There, there, there are, there was times, there is uh, special people that come to help us, wisdom keepers that come to help us. They're, they're, not, they're different. It doesn't mean they're bad. They're just different. They mm -hmm. don't come here, you know, um, with the agendas that some of us have. They, some of them have higher agendas, which causes them, you know, people to mistrust them because uh, they vibrate at a, a higher consciousness. Well, now with this new energy, we're connecting. We're understanding what they've been trying to tell us for centuries. Mm. So Doesn't it, that make sense? You know, that we're the ones that are behind. Yeah. We're the ones that have put ourselves in boxes and cages and not able to love and understand. It's not been their problem. It's been ours. Yeah, I've noticed that on the social media because uh, I, I always look at them to you know see the direction things are going and yeah. people that before the, the Supreme Court decision uh, in the United States they were they like you said they seemed like they were boxed in yeah. and then all of a sudden it's like the heart opened and said hey I'm yeah. going to support these people because they just want to they want love they, they just want to be who they are why shouldn't they have the right to love who they want to love and live the life that they want to live? Why shouldn't they? Because that's My human goodness, race. Look at them. The, I saw one that a couple, um, one lady was in a wheelchair. They'd been together for 48 years and waiting for this moment. It just brought tears to my eyes that they weren't allowed to be a couple. I mean, who are we? I really don't think the universe needs us as judge I, I think we we should just get aligned and, and and flow and harmonize and wow what a beautiful harmony it will be when we stop all the judging and I think right this, oh I agree and I think you know like I said some of us 
do not walk that path. Yeah. And but we came in to be bridges. Yeah. You know, to maybe open doors so people can see. I mean, I see the work that you're doing and you know, even myself. Yeah. I, I'm finding more more of a drawn, more of a purpose. Okay, let's bring this out. Mm-hmm. And it, it it's just for people's awareness so they go, Oh, I didn't know that. Mhm. It it makes me feel good. Now I get I get beat up sometimes. There's people that don't like what I'm doing, and oh, war that, you know that's a no, that's hard pill to swallow sometimes. You know, yeah. but when when I connect with someone who needs me, someone who's in terrible crisis, who's a transgender and who's struggling, and there's no community support and and I support them, and I, I tell them, do you know how beautiful you are and how perfect you are and that you are not a mistake? And they put their arms around me. That's all I ever need. Yeah. That's all I ever need. It's just one. If I just do that for just one. Yeah, then, no, it, that is, that's the best feeling because it's, um, you know, you want to do it for all humanity, for yeah. all people with all their issues, but we only can kind of do it one step at a time. Yeah, my small little, my small little part that I play in a little town in, in central Texas, and it's making me so happy. I just, uh, I can't sometimes sleep at night because I'm so excited about getting to go to the women's shelter the next day mm-hmm. and work with some of those women. And then I get to go over and counsel with someone who's going through a crisis because they're born with both genitalia and they haven't been able to express who they are. They don't even know who they are. Their mm. name could be Michael, but they look like Roberta. Yeah. No, and when, well, we're going to go more into your work after this break. Okay. Best of the conscious minds in the world. Om Times Radio, your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Om Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization, their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Om Times, co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. Hi, this is Angela Levesque, host of Entanglement Radio. Join me Wednesdays at 12 p.m. Eastern for inspiring conversations with visionaries in spiritual science and conscious healing. Entanglement Radio, Wednesdays at 12 p.m. Eastern. Transcendent talk for the conscious mind. Imagine receiving healing, vibration-raising energy as you listen to the radio. Energy that flows effortlessly to you. Imagine exploring all things metaphysical, sharing in an ongoing adventure. Join me, Karen Smoot, along with my co-hosts, Lisa Victorson and Wendy Weber, for Immersion into Source, every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on Home Radio. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Free your mind, expand your soul. Ohm Times Radio, IOM FM. Well, we're back with Nancy Oaks, and uh, from a personal view, I'm always excited to be working with Nancy and connect with her and have her Thanks. her heart energy come through because Thanks. she <laughs> because she does she, she is an open door to the heart. She um, when we go into her work. It's not she. She doesn't come. If you listen to her in all this, it, this is her passion. This is her heart's service. She's not coming 
well, I know all this, and this is, you know, what I'm going to tell you. No, she takes the individual, and she goes, she opens her heart in her arms to her. And uh, it's an amazing, I mean, I bring, you know, when I listen to her, I get in tears. But (laughs) anyway. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, but it's true. That's why I'm thrilled that you're on. And, you know, I want to, you know, have you tell people how, you know, the work you're doing and stuff and where they can hold, you know, get hold of you. Because like you said, the internet opens doors and there might be somebody out there way in Mongolia that's saying, oh, that, you know, there's some place I can look for support. And it's a first step. Yes, yes. And um, www.lovetothelight.weebly.com and Nancy Oaks, numeral one, at AOL.com. I, I, I forget sometimes to tell people how to find me. <laughs> you know, but yeah, at www.lovetothelight.weebly.com and Nancy Oaks, numeral one, at AOL.com. And of course, you can always find me through OM Times Magazine. Yeah, and um, the the thing being associated with OM is oh, it's, it, yeah. it's just amazing. They're, they're lighthouses. I mean, oh, I, I've amazing. just I've you know discussed this <laughs> uh, with somebody before, and um, we had that same feeling of we're stationary lighthouses. Yeah, if you put the light out there, you show the light through the darkness and it's the people, you know, when they're ready, they're ready, yes. ready to listen. Yes, it's it's amazing. It's an amazing magazine. And I've been so busy, uh, I haven't been able to get an article in, but I am going to and I beg the editors don't drop me because I'm coming back. I've just been so busy with uh, all this wonderful work and the doors have really opened for me uh, to do what I uh, do. Like you said, I feel so passionate about. So everything's appropriate, and I'll, I'll get an article back in, uh, you know, when it is, a, and I'm sure I'm going to be writing about these issues. <laughs> yeah, it, because it's, like you said, we get, we get back to the thing of the new energy. I mean, it's like we're all bumped up. It's like yeah. we took that step up. Yeah, and we're looking back at the earth, and even when I have some shows with Charlie, we talk about the change of the meaning of words. You can't find the right words for things. Yeah, um, you know, maybe the word I don't know. You know, uh, I don't know even ascension. We we're yeah. we talk yeah. about the, or the shift or the yeah. shift. It, it's yeah. not. Um, those words don't seem appropriate. Now you get into more like the word expansion of your soul. Yes. Oh yeah. We're 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 climbing that ladder. Yes. Uh, it's a beautiful energy, and to tap into it, it is pure joy. And all you have pure. to do is really be willing. I mean, um, we put and all it the changes words you, out. Doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you just be willing and don't be afraid. I mean, so many people say, well, you know, oh, look at all these terrible things. And uh, I yeah. agree. I see a lot of terrible things, but I, I try yeah. to look at it as the world saying, well, unless you could change, mm-hmm. we're going to keep mm-hmm. on showing you this until you finally get it. Uh-huh. You know, you're the ones that have to change and then it all mm-hmm. kind of speak, uh, like a pay it forward. You know, you change, right. I change, and, you know, it, it just right. keeps snowballing. Right. Um, and I wrote uh, just a few days ago, uh, the, the new minority is the 1%. The, uh, the gay community, uh, the people of color, the indigenous people, the awakened people, we are the majority. Yeah. So we don't have to just sit back and think we can't make it change because we're the newest. There's a lot more of us than there is the 1% that own all the wealth in the world. 
There's a lot more of us, right? Oh, yeah. And even the people in power or, let's say, even celebrities. Yeah. The the role models are changing. You see celebrities getting into, honestly, sponsoring charities. Yeah. I mean, not because, oh, well, this is going to make me more popular. No, it's because this is what I believe in. Yeah. It It shows the change in their heart. Uh, you know, they have the power, they have the position, and they have the money, and they're using it to help humanity. It's a beautiful thing. Or some people, you know, I've noticed in the writings or just what I read, and I listen to people, and they go, well, what can I do? Right. They, they don't realize how important you just are. If If you just... Think through your heart. If you're kind to a person one day, think exactly. how you change that person's mood. Exactly. Instead of instead of wanting to cut the throat of customer service, <laughs> yeah, be nice to them, and you'll see they'll completely change. Yes, uh, your energy, your emotions—that's real live energy. How you look at someone you don't even have to say anything you can walk into a room and people feel it it's alive and what you do with it is the most important thing that you will ever do on this planet that's what i mean when i say you know sexually uh you know those categories those things don't matter what gender you are it doesn't matter what you do with your life and that powerful energy that you have within and how you change someone's life those are the things that they're going to remind they're going to remember about you you know you only have so many years on this planet and we never know but you know the wonderful thing about someone who's giving and loving and that energy and i always think about jesus you know what 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 was he remembered for his love yeah. He, not all the that he was the son of and all of that and stuff and and you know people talk about Jesus just because he loved he loved women he loved his mother he loved the lady at the well he fed the people yeah that's what he's remembered for that's what we should aspire to is just to love and and then we'll be remembered by our family and our children. Uh, in that regard, rather than someone who who did nothing uh, to lift the vibration of the planet, I think. And when I when you're talking, I keep on coming with the word legacy. Some people yeah. want to, you know, it's it's not what you have, but it's what you right. do with your life. Right. And, and if someone can say, well, you know, they'll look at somebody and say, well, you know, oh. They were greedy. They were millionaire. Do you do you want that legacy, or do you want? I mean, right. does someone say, "Oh, you know, they were open to new ideas. They yes. they had a gentle heart. They had a gentle way about them. You know, they loved the animals. They loved the planet. Whatever. You know. Yes, that's the real stuff. That's the real stuff right there. You can. You can pretend, you can make all the money in the world, you can drive the fanciest car, you can live in the biggest house. None of that matters. It's nice, but it, it's not what sustains you. No. It's not what makes you happy. Yeah, I think that's an that's a important message that you bring out. It's what makes you happy. It's what fires you up to get up in the morning and say, Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm glad to be alive. I'm glad I got yeah. another day. What, what am I going to do? Who am I going to talk to? Who am I going to help? Yeah, what good, kind thing can I do? Yeah, uh, my my dear, darling, beloved husband will chase a hornet all over this house to catch it, to turn it loose outside. Yeah. You know, I said, honey, if you can't get it, it's just one. Oh, no. Oh, no. He, he's going to work until he gets that animal back outside so it's safe. <laughs> yeah, because the, everything, uh, I've, you know, read some books on trans species. I mean, even insects, they're a yeah. living consciousness that have a purpose on this world. Of course, yeah. I don't want to get stung. 
<laughs> I know, and I, I, but he never has. He never has. Uh, he, he, if a bee comes into this house, he, he chases it with a little piece of paper and a little glass jar very gently. This, he's 6'2", weighs 200 and something pounds, wears a 10 and a half shoe, and he's trying to catch a bumblebee. Yeah, So that's careful great. not to hurt its little wings, you know. That's the kind of man that I live with, that new man. Yeah. He's not afraid to wear a pink shirt either. <laughs> well, you know, our husbands sound the same. I said, my husband looks great in lavender and pink. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. My husband carries a shovel in the back of his truck. And if we are going down the road and someone has hit an animal, even armadillo, squirrel, turtle, he parks the truck on the side of the road, he gets the shovel out, he picks the animal up, he takes it over to the side of the road, puts it in the dirt, and says a prayer over it so it can go back to the earth. Yeah, he, he's, he's That's great. the kind of he's man that I'm living with, the new man. And there's a not there's, afraid. And there's a lot out there. So I think yeah. you know, we're we're ending the show and you're gonna have to come back, Nancy. I will. I will. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you so much. I love you, dear. <laughs> okay, we'll talk and thank you for being here today. Thank you for asking me. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. 